One of the most anticipated movies for this year was released today, uh, May 10, 2013, and that's The Great Gatsby starring Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Tobey Maguire, Carey Mulligan, and Joel Edgerton. And this was, um, you know, I really was looking forward to this movie, um, mainly for the fact that, you know, it's based in the 1920s, and when there's a movie that's, you know, set in a different time, Time, a decade, I'm really intrigued by it, and that was one of the main reasons that pulled me into this movie. So, I went and saw The Great Gatsby. Uh, this was based off of a classic novel by uh, Fitzgerald, and um, you know, a lot of people regard it as a really great novel, which I have not read. I never got to read it when I was in elementary school or whatever. I just never really heard about it until, you know, the trailer came out. I know that they have, you know, a few other movies on, like, Netflix with uh, um, Robert Redford. But I was really looking forward to this movie when it was supposed to come out in December, but, you know, they pushed it back. So anyways, um, the story of Great Gatsby is uh, Jay Gatsby, you know, he has a rich, he's rich, he has a big house, he throws lavish parties, everybody comes, and a new neighbor uh, moves in next door, um, played by Tobey Maguire, and he gets receives an invitation, the only invitation that um, Mr. Gatsby has to give out to anybody. You know, this movie, um, he is... Gatsby is a mysterious character, um, and it works so well. Uh, and it, he has some plans for uh, Tobey Maguire's character. And if you read the book, you already know what goes on. But if you haven't seen the movie or have not read the book, I will not spoil it for you guys. But um, what I really did love about this movie is the set, um, the set design, the costume design. It really did feel like a 1920s movie. Um, you know, this, without the simple fact that you know Jay Z music was in it. You know, reading, watching some reviews, I was kind of nervous that they would overplay Jay-Z music, but they did not. They played it perfectly, even though it was not needed to be in there. They played it only about three times. You know, they had a Beyonce song in there, too. But for the, for the setting of the movie, it fit in good, but still it was not necessary. Like I said, the costume design and the set design was really good. It really did feel like a 1920 movie, and that were, it pleased me. One of the best things about this movie and what carried the movie the most was Leonardo DiCaprio. He is a tremendous, he is a great actor. Um, I love everything about his movies and he is becoming one of my favorite actors of all time. And this shows that he is such a versatile actor. You know, there were scenes where he's, in the beginning, he's so mysterious. His mannerism's great. He, uh, a gentleman. But then there are scenes, you know, he plays like a teenage boy who's in love and he transitions back into the the more mysterious character and then more violent at the end so he has a lot of roles in this movie and it works so well um i really did like the story you know not reading the book i really did love the story it was mysterious it was um you know it's a love story but it was so great and you know there's um, a lot of a lot of points to this movie a lot of a lot of storyline to it, a lot of great plot. Um, I really did love this movie. You know, it has some negative reviews, you know, going on like Rotten Tomatoes has like a 46% as last time I checked, which is not great. But, you know, I think it deserves much higher for the simple fact, you know, it was carried by uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Everybody in this movie was great at acting. Tobey Maguire, Carey Mulligan, even Joel Edgerton, who's not a big name actor, he is uh, was really good in this movie. The, the it was a very colorful movie. Um, I think it was a great shot. So, you know, I've never seen a, a Baz Luhrmann movie. I know he has like uh, some other great movies that they consider to be really great. But this is the first one I've seen of his movies, and I think he did a really great job of um, capturing the essence of the 1920s. And you know, everybody came together to make a really great movie, and the acting was great. The feel of the movie was great. Um, just a lot of great things about this movie that I really did love. And um, probably be one of the best movies of this year for me um, for the simple fact that I love movies that are based in uh, different eras and different times and it does a really good job at capturing it so I would highly recommend seeing The Great Gatsby as you know if you read it as a kid or you love the book I think people will love it not knowing what the book's about um, I think people will actually enjoy this for you know the acting it's colorful a lot of great uh, scenes the story is great um, I'm actually going to go uh, check it out from my local library and see if, you know, compare the, I always like to compare a great movie to its book. 
So this is Justin Watch Movies here with a review for um, The Great Gatsby starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, Carrie Mulligan. Definitely check this movie out. Um, this and Peoples come out this weekend. So you know, if you're looking for a movie, definitely check out The Great Gatsby since it's a new hot summer movie and I think a lot of people will enjoy this movie. So this is Justin Watch Movies. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and look out for unboxing on Tuesday for the Texas Giant, Sound Massacre 3D, and Cloud Atlas. Hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see y'all later.